So, to further our quest in understanding, knowing, being shaman, and being the shamanic tradition, we want to talk about this idea of totem. Some, they call it spirit guide. Some say animal guide. Some just say totem. Many shamanic traditions, they say that it is that your totem is an animal but we would say that your totem can be anything it can be anything it does not have to be an animal right and it does not have to be in the natural world if you think that everything in your environment has an energy whether it is something that you would say is inanimate, like a car, or in the natural world, like a rock, or something that you would say has life, like fungus, or some tree, or an animal, or something else that obviously has some energy about it, but is not necessarily inanimate, like water, or soil. Let us say that all of those things are possible totem. So we are saying that something like a car, something uh, like an animal or a tree, any of these things can be totem. What makes it totem is your connection. How you feel connected to that. You say, oh, Mother Sharia, how can somebody be connected to a car or somebody be connected to a building? Well, we would say, first of all, that many people in your Christian religion are connected to churches, right? For them, it is the embodiment of their God, the embodiment of their Christ energy, right? This church. So, that for them is like a totem. It even has the spire with sometimes the cross. That's totemic. Or the bell, right? That's totemic. So that's already in your culture, in your way of being, your life. It can be something like that. If you look at a car, it could be the fact that it moves. That means movement is your totem. It could be that it is from the metal. That could mean that the metal is your totem. It could be the color, the paint. So that could mean color is your totem, right? But it's all embodied in the car. So when we talk of totem, it is where you feel absolutely connected. Some people, they search and search and search for their animal totem. But they're not animal people. They might be mountain people. They might be water people. They might be what you would say maybe material people that want something that's very physical like the building or the car. They might be animal. What we say to you is that where you feel the most at home, the most complete, the most as if you are not existent in your physical form, but you are actually merging with that particular thing, that environment or that inanimate object, that is your totem. Because then you have the complete connection. Not just to that thing, but to the energy that makes that thing, the energy behind that thing, because you are the same energy. You are the same. And that, whatever it might be, the rock, the building, the car, the water, soil, a leaf, not even the whole tree, but leaf, right? That can be your totem, because that is where you feel absolutely complete absolutely as one absolutely as if the physical of you no longer exists and you are merging together with the whole universe whilst you are in the presence of this whatever it is so that's what we want to say about totem find your totem in your environment where you are the most comfortable the most free that's where your totem is. And it's very possibly right in your current environment. You don't need to go to a country that has a rich shamanic tradition 
to link with some totem that belongs in that place. It could be already in your environment. In fact, if you are comfortable in your environment, that is where your totem is anyway. Look for it in there. Look for it there. And feel as one with that. Draw the energy from that. Let it have energy back. Let that circular energetic emotion happen with whatever your totem is. But we repeat, it does not have to be an animal. Because every single thing that you can imagine in the universe, whether it be star, another planet, the car, the building, the animal, the bird, the trees, the ground, the soil, the rocks, the mountains, the water, all is energy. All has spirit. And all can be totem. That's what we say.